Okay, so if you're using Google Classroom and you want to create a class, we're going to talk about what that means and some settings that you want to get right along the way. Okay, so we're going to start out at classroom.google.com and you just see this open area here, this is your home screen. So if you're just learning Google Classroom, you don't have to have anything else done. You could just come in here, create a class, see how it works. So that's what we're gonna do. So if you're creating one from scratch, here we go. Go up into the upper right-hand corner, left click on the plus sign, and you have the option to join a class, which is not what we're doing. We're creating a class. So left click on create class, and you'll get this pop-up window that has four options. The first one's required. So what do we want to call it? Let's give it a good name. Math 101's boring, right? We're going to say, uh, let, let's call it fundamentals of math. And then the section is not a required field, but you can use something in here that might be helpful to you. Like uh, say, for example, if it's first period or second period, um, let, let's just do that. Let's just say this is second period. Subject is, uh, let's just say math. In the room, uh, we're going all online, no room right now. Left click on create. And this is creating a class. So this takes a little bit to um, think about all the wonderful things that it's doing, and it's going to Boom, show up, there it is. So you've created the class. We won't go into too much how it works. Those will come in later tutorials, but let's still, on the subject of creating the class, there are some settings that we should keep in mind. So we'll go into the upper right-hand corner, left click on the gear icon. This is what you just did. So you can change them now if you want. Remember, if you change the name of the class, the name of the associated Google Drive folder will not change, but you can change it if you want. Let's refresh this. There it is, Fundamentals of Math, Second Period. I actually picked up the name of the section as well. Let's go back. So some of these things that you can change, the class code, if you don't like it for some reason, maybe it has an I or a one and you think people uh, might not know which it is, you can just reset it or you can disable it if you only want people to be able to get into there possibly from a, an email invite. You don't want it there, just disable the class code. We're gonna leave it on. Here you would control how your stream is used. So it's similar to other social media, there's a stream in the middle of the screen. It's kind of an aggregation of the communications. You can control who can post. So you can say only teachers, or you can do kind of a middle ground where the students can comment. Only the teacher can create a post, but the students can comment on that post, or you can just um, let it all hang out to the students and copy and post couple other settings here that you can look at when you create it. But an important one is how you're going to grade it. So you probably already know this and you need to translate it into Google Classroom. So a few options here. There's, so if there's no overall grade, maybe for whatever reason you don't want to grade it, maybe you're going to grade it on your own outside of Google Classroom, just choose this. You could just grade it straight up total points, so numerator, denominator, or you could have it weighted by category. So if you choose weighted by category, then you want to come down and add a grade category. So you would left click here and choose, uh, I don't know, quiz, and then you would add homework and, and whatever you want. And you would give those their weight here as long as it adds up to 100, but that'll work. And you can choose whether or not you allow the students to see their grade. So let's close this class settings. And of course, the most important thing is that you want to select a theme, right? Left click on math and science. And instead of that one, we're going to do this one. So much different, so much better. Maybe you like that. You could pick a picture that's more meaningful to you. So when you do select a theme, you can just go right under there and do upload a photo. You can just upload one from your computer with this button or take one from your file system and drag it onto here. So now that you've created your class, maybe we want to add some students to it. So we're going to go over that in this next video.